teachers. I keep a big long list of things I want to bring to you on Tech Tip Tuesdays, and I'm bumping all of them to bring you this one because I just found it and you have to know about it. You're going to go to this website here. It is just schoolai.com and sign in using your Google. Now these allow you to make custom chatbots to interact with your students. So we're gonna go in here to Sidekick and create a brand new room. Now there is a premium version, but the paid version lets you do so many things a day. Really, it's free. In this one, I'm gonna tell the chatbot that you are George Washington Carver. Introduce yourself to my students and discuss your life accomplishments and the times in which you live. When I click launch, it's gonna give students two choices to join. They can either point their camera at a QR code through their Chromebook or a tablet, or they can copy this link. When they go to enter the room, it's gonna ask for their name. They can put in their name and hit join. And George Washington Carver can have a conversation with your students. Now these chatbots are designed to interact with students, so they give great answers using accurate information, but it also ends almost every comment with a question for the student to keep the conversation going. We were doing this with Arcadia Middle School students yesterday talking to Langston Hughes, and they wanted to know what was his greatest accomplishment. So let's try that question again for George Washington Carver. Look at that. It adapts to students writing really well. So we see here, I forgot to put a question mark on purpose. Totally went with it. It's not perfect, but I have tried things like spelling and grammatical errors, and it does a really great job interpreting what students are trying to get to and responding. Now, while students are doing this, you can monitor from the teacher console, which looks like this. I can see my students, I can see who's active, and I can see a summary of what they're talking about. Allie's connecting innovation to social progress. I can also open this up and read the conversation that Allie is having with George Washington Carver. I can print this, I can grade it, I can give students feedback on this. And this is not just for social studies teachers. You can have your physics students talk to Richard Feynman. You can have your math students talk to Pythagoras about the Pythagorean theorem. Or you can just have them talk to an expert in any field. It doesn't have to be a specific human. You can say you are an expert in marine ecology. Talk to my students about wetlands. So you're connecting students to historical figures or academic experts in a format that feels very native to them. So go check it out once more. That's schoolai.com.